and we are outside Lisa is watching two doggos across the road well now you cannot see it due to the truck but yeah it's Monday 10 30 and we are outside as you can see it's sunny but it's colder than yesterday so in the morning it was minus three now it's plus seven celsius so not the not the warmest weather last week it was warmer than today so we will see what it uh, what kind of weather we will have for this week there is some predictions about um, rain at the end of the week but yeah tuki na pridi na mor se grat na sreciste Lizzy na bo tečkica na pridi Sam po vohi in to je to. Eko. Pridne sta punce. Ja. Ne, fantje. Fantje. Ja, gle, sam narubi. Sam narubi. Ne. Gle, kuže... Ja, lizi. Sam vasev je, no. Di jo. Napej. Doggo was just excited and running, trying to run around and Lisa said, calm down. Uh, so, what is new? So, let's see, regarding COVID, um, yeah, the figures are going slightly they are a little bit higher than previous week um, well week before that before the previous week um, i think now the daily average for the last week was about 2500 new cases per day but um, you know the hospitalization is still down no, you know less than i think 400 people still hospitals all of the hospitals with covid not just due to covid so yeah um that's basically the much basically nothing else has changed no new restrictions no no lifting of restrictions due to that um, but um, yeah, regarding war in Ukraine, um, there was some panic buying going on this week by some idiots. I cannot, I cannot call them anything else. You know, there were photos shared you know when the, some people were waiting on the till you know like buying 200 liters of oil i don't know how much oil do you usually get through you know through your ordinary food preparation activities in your typical family but i bet that you don't use 200 liters of oil in a year i would say but yeah some people were just going crazy you know stocking up basically the same thing basically repeating the same thing that at the big at the beginning of COVID 
you know and you know uh, basically some stores in uh, Slovenia said we have enough supply for you know a year or even more but just because some of these crazy idiots they are planning to do uh, you know to put on the restrictions for certain items like uh, you know sugar oil and so forth but yeah which you know in the end of the it can also infect you because you know um, usually in our family we don't go every day in the store um, we go you know let's say every two weeks or sometimes um, every week you know and in, it's you know you buy groceries for a whole week for two weeks you know fortnight ahead and basically you know yeah at that point you buy you know um, you know usually we buy you know four kilos of flour and so forth you know um, 12 liters of milk and so yeah more than you would buy if you go you know in the store every day but because of you know people like and this is you know considered uh, typical shopping um, routine here you know you and of course I believe all, all around the world you buy you know majority the sta majority of the food the sta your staple you know in bulk pazi pazi glass um, and then you know during the week you go buy you know usually in our case you know bread because we don't bake bread during the first covid um, lockdown we did and also during the second but then we went you know back to routine um, yeah um, people from Ukraine are still you know coming to Slovenia the latest figure that was was still around 3,000 people are here you know estimated figure of 3,000 um, about thousand to fifteen hundred of them applied for some sort of either of uh, you know refugee protection or just you know temporary residency here in Slovenia and last week the uh, government also opened the second um, let's say center for the refugees at our coast so basically directly by the coast it is uh, basically um, holiday camp it's not really camp you know they have you know bungalows that's a bungalow complex which was owned by the Ministry of Interior for the employees, you know, police and other public officials employed there. But the government uh, last week transferred the ownership of this complex to the our Bureau for Refugees, no, Migrants, it's for Migrants. So yeah. Um, yeah, here in Shishka, you can see a little bit more of Ukrainian cars. Um, in the morning, we saw in one of the neighboring uh, streets, I think there were four Ukrainian cars, all, you know, um, let's say, of higher price tag, with higher price tag. You know, Audi, um, Mercedes, 
um, and then was Lent, Rover, I don't know what we are waiting for. Of course, that doesn't mean they are not, uh, you know, refugees. That, that, that just mean that they can afford. And usually this is, you know, the case in the war. The people that can afford, we leave the country. Those that can, will stay and suffer. Um, and yet, just today, our government announced that they will send a diplomatic mission back so to re-establish our embassy in Ukraine uh, because as they are reporting currently there are only two embassies still working in Ukraine one is of from Poland and the second is of Holy See so Vatican and apparently Slovenian diplomats will be volunteers to go back. No one is sent, you know, against their wishes. Na pridi Lizi. Na dej. Prosam? Ah. Šest let. Prej smo mi je zlatga prinašavca. Pa je umr v lansk let. Ja, raka je imel. Ja, napet, kaj zdaj? Prevelika. Napet. Lizi, namorš. Mehna zadevce je. Jo, no da je hiter po vohi. Reč. Tista, kaj ima jih na zadevce. No, eko. No, zdaj pa smo. Eko. So je, basically that's it. Anything new? No, for preparation for Austria are ongoing. This weekend I made my test packing to see what can go in my suitcase, my, um, let's say, medium suitcase. So, yeah, this week, a little more of preparations. But, yeah, that's it.